Hey guys, it's Eric and welcome to another guide. In this guide I'm going to be covering 1 to 99 divination and cover all the best methods and the useful items. I hope you guys enjoy. Now as always with my guides I start off with the useful items. One of that is the diviner's outfit for the divination skill, obviously. You get 1% bonus XP a piece and 6% for the entire set. There are also enrichment auras. These auras increase the chance that you obtain enriched memories by 3, 5, 7, 10, 15 percent and that is each tier. So at the best tier you get 15 percent and at 3 percent which is the first tier you only get 3. Now there are also familiars that can help you go, uh, get your way to 99 in this tedious skill. There's the Nightmare Muspa which has a 3 percent chance to find enriched memories and it also has a BOB capacity of t 32 slots. Not really relevant relevant for the skill, but that doesn't matter. And there's the light creature, which has a 10% chance to convert memories instantly, which will definitely boost your XP per hour. And it has a special move that makes that 10% and changes it into 50% for six minutes. During your divination training, you can make boons. These give you a permanent boost of 10% more energy and experience for that type of wisps. Wisp. So let's we say we take the level 61, the boon of vibrant energy, which costs 1000 gleaming or vibrant energy to make. So every time you train on a vibrant wisp, you get 10% more energy and 10% more experience from this wisp. I'm not going to read out all these uh, boons, but you can just read them on screen if you really want to, and you can pause the video if you need to. Here are the boons from level 70 to 95. Pause the video if you need them. Now before I get into the method, I have a few tips. Uh, I recommend you click on the chronicle fragments that fly around when you're training divination. They give you hunter experience and when you hand in 10 at the NPC in Draenor, you get divination experience. Divination is extremely slow as we all know, probably you two watching this. So try to maximize your experience gains with Gavixian caches. I have a YouTube guide on these and I will link it in the card section of the video. So this is my out by the way before I get into it. Um, if you didn't know how to train divination you click on these floating wisps and you collect them and then you put them into a rift as you can see in the video. Good luck. So before you get into any other methods there's this one method you can do from level 1 to 99. It's the cursed wisps in the wilderness. You can find them at the Wilderness Volcano, and the experience per hour varies from, I don't actually know, at level 1 what the experience is, but I guess it's better than training on Pale Wisps, and it gets up to 106,000 experience per hour at level 99. It is in the Wilderness though, so watch out for PKers, and you can make profit from the Cursed Energies. This is also the reason why people PK here, because the Cursed Energies are worth a lot, and if you kill someone with, like, I don't know, 10,000, you can make good profit. If you use a Demonic sc Skull here, you can get another 20% stacked onto that 106,000 experience at 99, for example. But if you wear this skull, any person at any level can attack you, so watch out for that. So for normal training from levels 1 to 10, you're going to be training on Pale Wisps in Draenor Village. Uh, actually, south of Draenor Village, and the experience per hour gets up to 5,000 if you use energies. From levels 10 to 20, you're going to be training on Flickering Wisps. The location is north of Falador or close to the Falador Lodestone. The experience per hour is 8 to 10,000, depending on if you use energies. You can see the location in the top right corner with a little picture every time, by the way. From levels 20 to 30, you're going to be training on Bright Wisps. The experience per hour is up to 12,000 experience per hour. The location is between the Varrock, uh, between Varrock and the dig site. You have this little fence and behind there, there are the Wisps. From levels 30 to 40, you're going to be training on Bright Wisps. The location is south of Sears Village, and the experience per hour is 15 to 17,000 experience per hour, depending on if you use energy to train or not. From 40 to 50, you're going to be training on Sparkling Wisps. The experience per hour is 25,000, and the location is southeast of Relica. From 50 to 60, the experience is going to be going a little bit up with the Gleaming Wisps you're going to get 32 to 40,000 experience per hour, and the location of these wisps is northeast of the Shiloh village. From 60 to 70, you're going to be training on vibrant wisps. The experience per hour is 44 to 53 experience per hour. The location is north of the mobilizing army's place. You can get here the easiest with a ring of dueling, because it's cheap and it's just simple to use. 
Now, if you only want to unlock Invention, these are the Wisps you're going to be doing to level 80. You can also do them to 75 if you're going to be doing Elder Wisps. So, these Lustrous Wisps give, wisps give you 55 to 65,000 experience per hour, and if you teleport to the Canifist Lodestone, they're very close to those, and it's right of the Slayer Tower, if you wanted to know. For level 75 to 80, the alternative method is Elder Wisps. These give you 55 to 70,000 experience per hour, and the location is in the Elder Halls. It does require the Fate of the Gods quest completed, however. If you do not have this quest, just do the Lustrous Wisps instead. From 80 to 85, you want to be training on Brilliant Wisps. The experience per hour is 60 to 73,000 experience per hour. The location is east of the Magic Training Arena. From 85 to 90, you're going to be training at the Dragontooth Island for Radiant Wisps. The experience per hour is 65 to 80,000. At level 90, you're going to be training on Luminous Wisps till level 95. The experience per hour is 70 to 83,000 experience per hour. The location is south of Sovenem and uh, the location is in the top right corner. And finally, at 95 to 99, to complete your divination training, you're going to be training on Incandescent Wisps. The experience per hour is 82 to 99,000 per hour, and the location is south of the Poison Waste. Now, if you enjoyed the guide, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the guide, leave a dislike. If you want to see more 99 guides, I have a few on my channel. Uh, I put them into a playlist, and if you click the info button in the top right corner, you get to see the playlist. I'll see you guys later. Peace.